Welcome back. The previous video we saw what is a Cartesian product between two sets. Correct now we are we will introduce the concept of relation between two sets. So let me begin with an example. So let me consider the example. Let me say the set P. So that it be um, A comma P comma C. So this is the set P I'm going to consider. And next I need to consider one more set. So that I'm going to consider to be all the names, different names, okay? Uh, Ali, Benoit, Chandra, and Divya. Okay, these are the two different uh, sets I'm going to consider. Let me write down what is the Cartesian product of these two sets. We, in the previous video, we have seen this concept, right? So, how do we list the elements of the set? The Cartesian product of P and Q. So it is set of all ordered pairs of these two sets, correct? So we also saw what is an ordered pair in the previous video, right? So uh, it will be like this, right? A comma Ali, the all possibilities with A, correct? A comma Binoy, A comma Chandra, we have A comma Divya. Similarly, we can write B with all the elements of Q. Okay, this goes on. Okay. Similarly, we can write C with all the elements of Q. Correct. So that is the set P cross Q, the Cartesian product of P and Q. Now, how many elements will be there in the set P cross Q? So this also we have seen, correct? So if the number of elements in the set P is P and number of elements in the set Q is Q, then number of elements in the set P cross Q will be the product of P and Q, correct? So here, what is P? Here, this uh, number of elements in P is 3, correct? And number of elements in Q is 4. So therefore, it is product of 3 and 4, which is 12. So therefore, totally, there will be 12 elements in the set Cartesian product of P and Q. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to consider a subset of the set P cross Q. So let me say uh, the set that I'm going to consider, uh, let me represent it by R. So I'm going to consider uh, A comma Ali okay, and uh, B comma Benoit and then C comma Chandra. Now every element in the set R is also an element in the set P cross Q, correct? Because this these sets are there. A comma Ali, you can see here. It's similarly, you will have B comma Binoy, and also there will be C comma Chandra. Okay. So therefore, R is a subset. Okay. R is a subset of the set P cross Q. Okay. And then this R is called as the relation. The relation between P cross Q. The relation between the two sets P and Q. Sorry. Now the question is. Will every subset of the set P cross Q will become a relation? This, this is the question. Okay. Need not be. Okay. This need not happen. So a subset of P cross Q will become a relation only if there is a relationship between the first element and the second element of the ordered pair considered. Okay. And it, it must be, the relation must be true for every ordered pair. So, for example, here, uh, the set that I have considered here, right, that is A comma Ali, B comma Benoit and C comma Chandra, what relation can we give between uh, the first and the second element of the set? So, let me say I'm going to give the relation in this way. So, this uh, I'm writing the relation now in the uh, set builder form, okay? So, I'm going to give the relation as it is set of all X comma Y, that is set of all ordered pairs, okay, such that x is the first letter x is the first letter of the name y and x must belong to the set p and y must belong to the set q okay so i need to choose y from the set q which is a set of names correct so what are all the names it is ali benoit chandra and divya correct now if i choose ali then the uh, then the relation says x must be the first letter of this name which is a correct so a comma ali is an element in r due to that relation okay next if i consider the next element in q which is binoy 
Then the first letter is B. So B comma Benoit is an element in R. Next, if I consider Chandra, then the first letter is C. So C comma Chandra must be an element in R. Now, if I consider Divya, D comma Divya must be an element of the set R. But but this condition is also there, correct? X must belong to the set P. So D does not belong to the set P, correct? There is no A, B, C. There is no D. So that element doesn't uh, belong to R. So there are only three elements that is A comma Ali, B comma Benoit and C comma Chandra in the relation that I have defined here. Okay. So this is how uh, we define a relation between two sets. You can define any other relation. So let me consider one more relation. So I'm going to define the relation to be set of all X comma Chandra. Okay. No, now you can see the second element is fixed. It is just Chandra. Okay. But the first element is varying. So it is set of all Chandra such that X is a letter. X is a letter present in X is a letter present in the name Chandra. It is present in the name Chandra. And also X must belong to the set P. Okay. Now you see. What, what, what will be the elements of the set now? Okay, uh, it will be, you can, we can list this out, right? So this element of the set will be, now Chandra, the second element is fixed. I just have to consider X to be the letters in this uh, set. I mean, sorry, in this name, correct? So it should be C comma Chandra, first element, right? So C comma Chandra, right? And then H comma Chandra, but H doesn't belong to the set P. So that element doesn't belong to R as well. Next, I have A comma Chandra. Okay, A comma Chandra. Okay, then uh, N comma Chandra. No, why? Because N doesn't belong to the set P. D comma Chandra doesn't belong. D doesn't belong to set P. So that is not there. R comma Chandra. R doesn't belong to the set P. Again, you have A comma Chandra, which already we have written. So these are the only. Uh, elements present in the relation. Okay, maybe I'll uh, write this as R2. So these are the only two elements uh, in the relation R2. Okay, now is this a subset of the Cartesian product P cross Q? Yes, because these two elements belong to the set P cross Q and every element of R2 is, a, is also an element of P cross Q. So therefore, R2 is a subset of P cross Q. Okay, now I hope you understand the definition of relation between two sets. Okay, it, it must be the relation is a set and it should be a subset of the Cartesian product P cross Q. And also there should be a relationship between the first and the second element of the ordered pace considered. Okay. Okay, next we will see how do we how do we represent this uh, relation in a diagrammatic form and then we will see the formal definition of relation okay in the example that we considered we had two sets correct which was p and q so uh, usually in the diagrammatic forms the sets are represented uh, in this way we just draw a circle the elements should be listed out here okay inside this it is a b c okay a b c and are the elements of the set p and then next i'll say represent a set Q. Maybe I should draw a little bigger. So the set Q, what were the elements? It is Ali, Benoit, Chandra and Divya, correct? And the relation R1. Okay, let me consider the relation R1. What were the elements of R1? It was A comma Ali, correct? So what do we do is we draw a line from A to Ali and draw represent this arrow mark. So it means the element A from the set P is related to element Ali in the set Q. Okay, this is how it this is what it means. Okay. Now the next element was B comma Benoit, right? So same same way we just draw a line from B to Benoit and represent this arrow mark. So now what does what does this say? It means B is related to Benoit. And then we had C comma Chandra. So this is uh, C to Chandra and draw a line and represent the arrow mark. That's it. So this is relation R1. Now uh, what will be relation R2? So relation R2 the same thing, right? So we need to write the set P and Q. So in this, uh, in, in the relation R2, there were only two elements. 
so what were there it was uh, c comma chandra correct c comma chandra next a comma chandra was an element so comma chandra a is related to chandra so now this is the relation r2 that's it okay this is this is how we represent a relation in a diagrammatic form so this is pretty easy to understand the relation okay in a diagrammatic form correct okay now we will see the formal definition of a relation so the definition says a relation r from a non empty set a to a non empty set b is a subset of the partition product a cross b this we said correct it should be a subset of the partition product correct then the subset is derived by describing the relationship between the first element and the second element of the ordered pairs in a cross b the subset just just randomly you don't choose the subset okay there is a condition on the subset what is it the subset is derived by describing the relationship between the first element and the second element okay so you if you can define any relationship between the first element and the second element and those elements comprise to be a subset of the partition product then that set will become the relation from the set a to set b okay yeah so this is uh, one more thing we need to see that is the second element is called as the image of the first element so we consider here few relations right so we see yeah now in this relation r2 you see it is c comma chandra right so this chandra this element right so this is called as image of the first element so you now it is clear to see from the picture from this diagram you see a is related to chandra c is related to chandra so it means this element chandra is the image of the element a as well as as the uh, of the element c we say sometimes a is mapped to chandra that is also used that term is also used okay or c is mapped to chandra okay Th those terms are uh, usually used okay